They must to make my glasses right in their own lab. Most folks would be happy to get a new pair of glasses in a few days. But if the eye works, they can make them in an hour. And at a great price. The eye works. Glasses fast, glasses right. Call for an exam or bring in your prescription. WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. You are watching WCCO Television, Minneapolis, St. Paul. All today's news with Don Shelby and Pat Miles. Bud Frayling has weather. Ralph John Fritz has sports. And now, this is the 5 p.m. report. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us. Debbie Ely is sitting in today for Pat Miles. Closing arguments presented in Virginia today in the court martial of a St. Paul Marine. Sergeant Clayton Lone Tree is the first Marine ever to be charged with espionage, and his attorneys rested their case today without calling a single defense witness. Skip Losher attended today's court martial proceedings from the Marine base at Quantico, Virginia. He joins us now by telephone. The military uh, jury of eight officers went, to, went into deliberations about 45 minutes ago, and unlike civilian juries, they tend to work not very late into the evening, so therefore a verdict is not expected tonight. In closing arguments, the prosecution painted the picture of Lone Tree as a man who knowingly entered into a conspiracy with his Soviet lover and two KGB agents, that Lone Tree gave them the identities of U.S. covert agents in Vienna, as well as floor plans to the U.S. embassies in Vienna and Moscow. The defense contends that Lone Tree never intended to commit crimes and never gave the Soviets anything which would help them. He had the illusion of becoming a double agent, the defense contends. Ah, but to be a double agent, you first have to be a spy, says the prosecution. And Major David Beck added, the picture of the whole man indicates he is a traitor to his country. Beck concluded with these words, the defense has mistaken the fictional Walter Mitty with the real life Benedict Arnold. A defense attorney William Kunstler countered by saying of Lone Tree, he was playing the most dangerous of all games. It was a foolish thing, he said. I find it profoundly stupid. And Kunstler warned the jury that if it convicts Lone Tree without being absolutely sure of his guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, then, said Kunstler, some night, somewhere, sometime, you will wake up screaming. Lone Tree sat, sat stone-faced throughout most of the arguments today, although at one point, when the prosecution said he betrayed his country, Lone Tree leaned over and whispered to one of his lawyers, this is terribly hard to take. Skip Losher, CCO News, reporting live from the U.S. Marine Base at Quantico, Virginia. Indian activist Leonard Peltier wants to be released from Leavenworth Prison to go to Russia. Peltier, serving two life sentences for killing two FBI agents in 1975, has made a plea to the Soviet Union for political asylum. Peltier says he was framed for the murders and told the Soviets that there is no justice for him or his people here in the U.S. Even if the Soviets do grant Peltier asylum, there is little chance he'd be released from jail. A helicopter crash in Washington, D.C. this morning killed three people. A Bell Jet Ranger helicopter on a photo mission plunged into the Potomac River about 7.30 a.m. Two men and a woman passenger died. The pilot was taken to a local hospital. He's in serious but stable condition. This is the 23rd crash of the Jet Ranger chopper just this year. Yet more news of frightening flying experiences. A Delta 757 on its way to San Diego made an unscheduled stop in Shreveport, Louisiana today. The oil pressure light had gone on. No problem actually found. An American Airlines jet en route to Los Angeles lost one of two engines in midair yesterday. Smoke filled the cabin, made an emergency landing in Albuquerque. A Piedmont jet uh, in New Mexico, unscheduled stop in Syracuse, New York, when instruments indicated a problem with the landing gear. And a Northwest jetliner had to turn back to Philadelphia yesterday after crews saw fuel flowing from a wingtip. Apparently, the fuel tanks were simply overfilled. Meanwhile, Northwest Airlines finds itself in the midst of ticket cancellations. People afraid to fly following Sunday night's crash in Detroit. For example, Viking Travel reports 25 cancellations of Northwest tickets. Hobbit Travel reports 15. Other agencies around the Twin Cities report five cancellations. Northwest says it will refund tickets for customers worried about their safety up until August 31st. Services were held in St. Paul today for Roberta Rademacher, one of three Minnesotans killed in the crash of Flight 255. She was a Northwest flight attendant, and today her co-workers at Northwest joined her family and friends at the memorial. Some pilots and other flight attendants wore their uniforms as a gesture of respect. 
Rademacher lived with her husband in Egan. They had one child and were expecting a second. The so-called miracle survivor of Northwest Flight 255 continues her recovery to Michigan Hospital. Four-year-old Cecilia Sheehan remains in serious but improving condition following some skin graft surgery on her hands and arms. Cecilia's story has captured the hearts and attention of the entire country, including the staff at the St. Paul Ramsey Medical Center. Today, Caroline Lowe talked with them about what Cecilia faces on her road to recovery. The staff here at St. Paul Ramsey has also treated some well-known burn victims, including young Jennifer Teat, severely injured in a house fire in January. Like Jennifer, Cecilia Sheehan is experiencing a lot of pain, with potential infections now her main threat. That could be a pneumonia, or that could be a wound sepsis, or it could be an infection that has gotten into the bloodstream, those types of things. Cecilia will also undergo skin grafts and physical therapy in the weeks ahead. But burn counselors say her biggest pain will probably be emotional, having lost her family in the crash. She will need a lot of support in that area uh, in terms of the way she's going to respond to, like, was she at fault? Um, did she cause it in some way? Maybe her mother could have been spared, those kind of issues. And it's difficult to predict right now. Cecilia is also expected to have a lot of fears long after she leaves the hospital, often triggered when she sees something that reminds her of the plane accident. She's likely to have questions about why she was the only survivor, according to a psychologist who counseled the only survivor of the Reno plane crash. There is um, uh, a sense that um, there's something special about you, or you begin to develop questions to yourself about why, why did I make it, why didn't they? But despite her tragedy, the therapists say the outpouring of love and support for Cecilia from around the country should go a long way toward helping her recover. Caroline Lowe, WCCO Television News in St. Paul. We would like to remind you that a Northwest flight attendant has set up a local trust fund for Cecilia Sheehan. Contributions may be sent in care on the Roseville Bank at 2100 North Snelling Avenue in Roseville, Minnesota at 55113. A summertime flu-like virus is making its rounds to the Twin Cities. In fact, the state health department has received reports on 65 cases of the bug, which is called the Entrovirus. They've treated 29 children this summer at the St. Paul Children's Hospital. The virus enters the intestinal tract. Its symptoms include headaches, fever, muscle aches, and a runny nose. It usually runs its course in three to five days, affecting both children and adults alike. Stay with us now as the Friday Five continues. Up next, we'll explore that old saying, we are what we eat. In fact, on today's edition of Healthline, we'll tell you about some people who can diagnose your diet. Levitt's stock reduction sale. There's never been a better time to buy furniture. Check your circular or Levitt's showroom for hundreds of bargains during Levitt's stock reduction sale. Your Chrysler Limit store and it's sending all our new cars out the door. Everything goes. Everything goes. Hurry in now because we're dealing on everything in stock. Get financing as low as 1.9% or up to $750 cash back. Plus get the 770 protection plan. Everything goes. Everything goes. Get the best year in prices ever. Everything included. Everything goes. It's Highland Summer Cuckoo Sale. Friday and Saturday only for 22 hours. Highland goes crazy with savings on brand names in every Highland store. Like this 19-inch color TV with automatic color control, just $148. So come to Highland and go absolutely nuts Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. at Highland Summer Cuckoo Sale. But when time runs out, you're out of luck. Today's edition of Healthline looks at several topics, including diets around the world, a unique form of amnesia, and something called living skin. To bring us those stories, our health and science reporter, Tony Bigneri, standing by. Tony? Debbie and Don, researchers at Wright State University in Ohio are developing a living skin for burn victims. The skin is grown in a lab by using skin cells from a donor, along with an unburned skin sample from a burn victim. The living skin means less scarring for the burn victim and a shorter hospital stay. The new procedure is expected to be tested on burn patients within a year. 
It's often said we are what we eat, but the question is, what are we eating? To answer that, an international human diet study is underway. Scientists in Maryland are examining the nutrients and pollutants from the diet of 15 countries. For example, when they focus on the American diet, they take all the foods we eat, pizza, vegetables, steak, everything, and put it in a blender. The batter-like liquid is then freeze-dried, and it ends up as a coarse powder. That powder is then examined for weeks at a time. Because of our high intake of meat, the American diet is darker in color when compared to this Chinese diet, which is richer in grains. The world diet is expected to take several years to complete. If you take a sleeping pill on a plane and then drink alcohol, you could be giving yourself a form of amnesia. Many long-distance tr jet travelers are taking the drug called triazolam. The drug puts them to sleep on the plane and then helps them with jet lag when they arrive at their destination. But when travelers take the drug and then have alcohol on the flight, they have memory problems a few days later. It seems when you mix alcohol with a drug, it causes minor memory loss. Researchers are continuing their studies to find out why this happens. Tony, you reported about growing skin in the lab mm -hmm. a year or so ago. What's the difference between this and that? The difference with, uh, with that one is uh, about a year ago, a, a patient at Hennepin County Medical Center was burned over, I think it was 95% of his body. In that case, they took a small patch of his own skin and sent it to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. It took uh, several weeks to grow it uh, large enough so they could graft it. In this case, they take a, a piece of skin from the burn victim and skin from a donor and grow it. It's quicker and uh, it's, a, it's a lot nicer for the person. It's shorter hospital stay and uh, less pain for the person, too. Okay. Tony, thank you very much. Samaritan Hospital in the Midway area of St. Paul closed its doors for good today, leaving as many as 120 people without jobs. The operator of the hospital, Health East, says a low patient count forced the 65-year-old hospital to close. Employees were surprised by the closing. Health East says it will assist them in finding new jobs. The building will be converted to offices. Through the years, Harvey McKay has worn several hats. Business leader, fundraiser, sports booster, and athletic recruiter. Well, now there's something new to add to that list. Author McKay has written his first book. It is entitled Swim with the Sharks Without Being Eaten. The author, Harvey McKay, joins us now. Swimming with the Sharks Without Being Eaten Alive. Correct. One more word, alive. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. You're on television more than we are. <laughs> you are the busiest right. man of the century, I think, and, and perhaps that's what the book is going to be about, your dealings with the rest of the world. Well, I've been uh, lucky enough, Don, to be on the knife and fork circuit making some, uh, some talks and speeches to different kinds of groups over a period of years. So this is a collection of many of the speeches that I've given and some of the past business experiences. Now, one of the things about uh, this, this is your first time out of the box as an author, uh, but almost everything you do uh, is a first-time venture and you learn yourself. You did all of this, at least the beginning parts of it, without an agent. That had to be terribly tough. Well, uh, that's true. I, I decided that sometimes you really don't know what the real goal is, and I think one of the secrets might be is uh, superior information. I, I really am a believer in that. In other words, uh, dig your well before you're thirsty. I did go out and had the time, made the time, to talk to maybe 40 or 50 authors and a number of agents, and I just then decided to uh, try it on my own. And you managed to land yourself a very, very healthy advance, which is almost unheard of in this business for first-time authors. Well, thank you. Uh, I, I'm even more proud of how many books they're going to print because uh, in my research and that superior information, it's wonderful to get a publisher. But then number two, they have to back the book. But then number three, they have to send you around the country. That's 100,000, isn't it? But if there's print? no books in the stores, <laughs> what yeah, is so the, print? the first 100, print is 100,000 hard copies, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, good, good luck. luck. Thank we, you. We'll Appreciate read the book. It. You betcha. Yeah. For the first time in more than three months, Gary Hart's whereabouts are back in the news. Hart cut short his vacation in Ireland today, telling Irish Radio that he would neither confirm nor deny reports he was about to re-enter the race for president. As we reported last night, Hart's former campaign manager William Dixon told a Wisconsin radio station that Hart will jump back in within two months at the urging of friends and family. It's really a rather nondescript day out there today. Well, along the cloudy side, lots of excitement, though, and thunderstorms through part of the state. And we're forecasting gusty northwest winds later tonight and drier air and a sunny Saturday. The 
one dollar down is back at the number one dealer, Southdale Ford Hugo. Number one in selection, over seven million dollars in new and used inventory. Number one in price, as low as forty-six eighty-eight for a brand new Hugo. Number one in interest, as low as one point nine percent financing on select models. And number one in payments, like a new Ford Escort, one dollar down and only one thirty-two per month. Call us at eight three five fifty-five fifty-five Southdale Ford Hugo. Nobody sells for less. Southdale Ford Hugo, we're your number one. Shop the low price of sale at Menards for big savings on pneumatic tools. Discover the power of air hammers, sanders, and more on sale now. Air compressors are on sale, too, in sizes to fit your needs. This compact air compressor has a rugged three-quarter horsepower motor and runs on standard household current. On sale now for just $88. Choose pneumatic tools and save during Menards' low price of sale. We're helping you build America's car brand at Menards. Most hot dogs don't quite make it to the end of the bun, so you're left with the end of the bun. Here you go, Ralph. That's why Hillshire Farm created bun-sized wieners. Kids like them because they taste great. Moms like them because they're made with quality cuts of beef and pork. And they're longer, so they fit the bun better. You get a bite of hot dog for every bite of bun. Sorry, Ralph. Bun-sized wieners from Hillshire Farm. Just look for this nice young man on the label. Why Wellington? Because Wellington is the only replacement window manufacturer offering individuals and builders every size, style, and color in every price range, with or without installation. Save on Andersons. Save on custom-made insulated Wellingtons with security locks from $68. Wellington installs or shows you how free at the Wellington Planning Center near you. Free in a home estimate, too. Call 884-9661. 884-9661. Well, well, Wellington, call now. In thunderstorms in southwestern Minnesota, I had a story from Clarkfield in northwest of Redwood Falls. They had baseball-sized hail no. there, obviously dented automobiles and broken windows. That's Clarkfield, northwest of Redwood Falls. I hope some people save some of those baseball-sized hailstones, because I'd like to get a picture of one Put of Put them in things. their freezer. I know, baseball-sized hail, that would have to be something, well... Not that big around. Give us a call. If you've got some of those baseball size hail <laughs> down there, Save tell them. us about it. Well, I'd like to see one of those. Weather conditions rather unsettled tonight over uh, parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. In fact, we have a severe thunderstorm watch for central and southern Minnesota and west central and north central Wisconsin until 9 o'clock. would include the cities of Redwood Falls and St. Cloud, our metro area, Eau Claire and Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Well, early this morning, at 2 o'clock this morning, thunderstorms moved through southeastern Minnesota and the northern part of Illinois, Rock Island, Illinois, with four inches of rain. Then about 2 o'clock this afternoon, thunderstorms developing north of Alexandria, and then they popped up around Redwood Falls. We've talked about Clark Field, and then north of the metro area, around Mille Lac and Pine County, and over into Burnett County, Wisconsin. So we've had thunderstorms of the southwestern part of the state through central Minnesota into northwestern Wisconsin, and there is a possibility of showers and thunderstorms tonight. It's cloudy in the Twin Cities area, and we have our weather view out on the mall, kind of an extension of the farmer's market, and peaches and plums and grapes that were sold this afternoon on the mall. Makes a very colorful scene. Cloudy, temperature 76, humidity 82% with a dew point at 70. Winds from the northwest at 8, and pressure rising from 29.86. Sky cloudy, temperature now at 76 degrees. Uh, we have showers and thunderstorms from Redwood Falls and into the western metro area, and the heaviest thunderstorms in southern Burnett County, just really moving out of Burnett County, and that's the Grantsburg Siren area, moving on to the east in southern Burnett County, the heaviest thunderstorms at the moment. Showers and thunderstorms out through the western states today, that's Nevada and Utah, Arizona and New Mexico, thunderstorms in central Colorado, scattered showers along the Gulf. Florida got rain again today. And uh, again, a reminder that we have a severe thunderstorm watch for central and southern Minnesota, parts of Wisconsin, till 9 o'clock tonight. And the warm air gathered in this area, ahead of this cold front, the warm front through southern Michigan, Paducah, Kentucky, 100 degrees, a maximum temperature record for the day. There was rain at Key West, Florida, rain at Dallas today. Needles was the hot spot at 104. The cool spot, Cutbank, Montana, at 56 degrees. Our forecast for tonight, severe thunderstorm watch till 9, 58 for the low. Northwest winds at 10 to 20 later tonight with drier air. And mostly sunny, less humid for tomorrow, 77 for the high. And the Sunday forecast is sunny to partly sunny with a temperature at 75 degrees. And the way the weather systems are stacking up, 
Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, it looks like mostly sunny, temperatures in the low 70s. Great, my day is off. Oh. Well, Terrific. Have a nice day <laughs> okay. off. <laughs> okay. For better or worse, for richer, for poorer, in sea sickness and in health, that's not exactly how the vows went at the wedding today on Lake Elmo, but they might have been appropriate. You see, uh, Tammy Eckholm and Dick Wall decided that their wedding should be a, a day spent the same way as their first date. That was a day out fishing on a boat. He also reserved two pontoon boats, one for each family member. Now, that's a bass boat that they got married on. I think they're hoping that the memories on the wedding in the water will prevent their marriage from ever going on the rocks. <laughs> that's great. So I don't understand. If I had to live my life over again, that's what I would do. If I had to live my life over, I'd live it over a delicatessen. Say, what do these names have in common? Dick Stockton, uh, Marty Reeson, Stan Smith, Bob Lutz. They're all, jokes <laughs> they're all former pro tennis stars. All over 35, we'll be talking with Marty Reeson next. Team for Thane Hawkins Freeway Dodge in Bloomington. Our used car truck lots are jammed and we're out to sell 100 units in just three days. Incredible deals now. Prices so low you can buy with no money down. Like this 84 Horizon for just $99 a month with no money down. You have to agree, this is an unbeatable deal, three days only. Low prices, huge inventory, no money down. Where? Only at Thane Hawkins Freeway Dodge, 80th and Penn in Bloomington, where financing is as easy as the stump of approval. This October, join WCCO Television and Holiday Travel in California. See San Francisco, Los Angeles, and in San Diego, we'll relax at the Tropical Hanalei Hotel. We'll enjoy dinner and a show during our stay at Lawrence Welk Village. Eight-day tours depart either October 1st or 29th. For your free brochure, call the WCCO California hotline weekdays 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 1-800-826-2266. Okay, honey. Can you tell who hasn't had their Kellogg's Bran Flakes? Hang in there, honey. Well, some people feel a little sluggish if they're not eating a balanced diet. Oh, boy, am I sluggish. Kellogg's are the only Bran Flakes with fiber and a full day supply of iron to help balance your diet. And that's one great way to help fight that sluggish feeling. So, maybe you can tell who hasn't had their Kellogg's Bran Flakes. Great shot, honey. And who has. Kellogg's Bran Flakes, the fiber and iron cereal. There's a new lilt that makes silky body easier. A new lilt that makes soft waves easier. A new lilt that makes the difference easier. It's new lilt with built-in conditioners. Now perming and conditioning with no extra steps. For long-lasting, easy care hair. Go ahead. New lilt with conditioners makes the difference even easier. the men who helped bring the America's Cup back to the States are in the Twin Cities this weekend. Crew members from the Stars and Stripes yacht made an appearance at Donaldson's in Minneapolis. But their main reason for being here is to help celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Calhoun Beach Club. They'll be making a presentation at the club tomorrow. Good to see him. I wonder if that was a fellow from Minnetonka in that group? I don't know. Local guys? Sure. I bet he was. Okay, R.J. Fritz standing by to tell us about tennis and some great stars. I'm surprised our own Al Austin is not in this tournament. Uh, it's the Men's Pro Grand Champions Tennis Tournament. It is at the uh, Met Sports Center. This is a tournament for players 35 years of age and over, uh, often referred to as the Over the Hill Gang. Marty Reeson is uh, one of the people in that group. And uh, we have Marty out at the uh, Met Sports Center right now. Let's talk to you. What sort of success have you had to this point on the tour, Marty? Well, so far it's been a bit mixed for me. Uh, not so well in the singles. I lost to Cliff Ritchie here, and then in the doubles uh, I've been doing quite well with Fru McMillan. And, uh, you know, each week uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, but Fru and I, uh, we won four tournaments last year on the circuit, and, you know, we're looking forward to doing well. We play tonight and uh, have a good chance to be in the finals. Let's ask you about fan support. Uh, is this anything like uh, the golf tour that's going on with Palmer and Chichi Rodriguez and people like that? Uh, not really. Uh, we haven't had the same support that they have, and uh, we're a bit disappointed about that. But uh, the tour's been going for about five, six years, and uh, some of the places we do very well. Uh, last week on Cape Cod, we were sold out the last three days, and uh, naturally the Met Center is a bit bigger here, and uh, I don't think we'll have a sellout. How old are you right now, Marty? Uh, I'm 45 years old. 
45. I'm, you know, I'm, I, just thinking I'm the that, old guy. You're the old timer. I'm just thinking, you know, this is for 35 and over. I think Connors, Jimmy Connors, is what, 34 now? Now, Connors is eligible to play with us, and uh, he, he, so is Guillermo Vilas. Uh, we've asked them to play, but uh, so far, Connors is uh, six in the world, and he thinks he's going to do all right on the other tour. Yeah, he's that old, huh? Okay. That's right. Now, you coached, at one time you coached uh, Tracy Austin? That's right. I was here in uh, 1981 with Tracy uh, when she lost in the finals to Martina. Um, I coached her for about three years uh, until the sciatic nerve injury put her out. That was it. Uh, I was going to say she was right on top of her game at age 12, I think it was, <laughs> and uh, seemed to disappear off the face of the earth. Well, she started at age 14. She played her first professional match here, and then uh, at the end of 81, she re-injured herself, and uh, she hardly played again, and it's been five whole years, and we hear rumors that she's practicing very hard and might make a comeback, but so far, not yet. Okay, and nice to see you on the comeback trail. Thank you very much, Marty Reeson, and good luck to you guys out there. Thank you. You bet. And uh, twins are in action tonight. Frankie Viola and his orchestra. This should really be a matchup. Frank Viola against Roger Clemens in Boston, Fenway Park. Have to snap out of it. Was that soon. smart? Was that smart moving Viola against Clemens? Well, it's, it's the rotation. That's just the way it comes up. I don't know if it's smart or not, <laughs> but that's the way it uh, ends up. Okay. Thank you very much, RJ. We'll be back to wrap up the Friday Five in just a moment. But first, we're going to check time for you. 26 minutes past five, plus change. Here at Towsley Ford... And Towsley Subaru... Our hail damage sale continues. We sold hundreds of the over 800 cars and trucks damaged by hail. And still hundreds more to sell, new and used. Don't let this chance slip by. A little hail damage means a lot of money saved for you. Hail damage prices plus 1.9% financing. And factory cash back up to $1,500. Hail damage prices are clearly marked on everything at Towsley Ford. And Towsley Subaru White, White Bear, Bear Lake. Lake. All Natural Briars Ice Cream presents the Screen Test. Now bring your vanilla ice cream right up to the screen. Ah, the leading brand. Now read the ingredients. Guar gum, carrageenan. Well, my Briars has nothing but milk, cream, sugar, and real vanilla beans. It's all natural. Mm. Here, try it. And now sorbets swirled in Briars vanilla ice cream. New blueberry strawberry sorbets and cream. And new lemon sorbet and cream. Mmm. Breakfast without Collard's cornflakes would not be breakfast. It's not fancy, it's just really good. Because I like the taste and it has nutritiousness in it. I love the box. So I know when I see that uh, rooster in the morning, it's another way to say, Dan, wake up, it's time to go to work today. Kellogg's Corn Flakes is uh, the ultimate in cereal. Kellogg's Corn Flakes is top. Corn Flakes from Kellogg's. What more could you want from a cereal? At Plow, Minnesota, we've plain got too much inventory. You bet your jar at Plow, Minnesota, we've got too much carpet and vinyl flooring. So we're clearing out summer inventories before August 31st. Terrific savings, like up to 50% off on carpet remnants. Save up to 50% when you buy from Plow, Minnesota's huge stock of plush quality carpet. Even no wax vinyl floors are in stock and on sale from $2.99. Plow, Minnesota is clearing out summer inventory before August 31st. Visit our new store in Burnsville, County Road 42 and Burnhaven Drive. Uh, see this giraffe right here? Uh, this guy and two others just like him will be coming to Minnesota soon. The young giraffes will be shipped from a wildlife park in Texas to the Como Zoo in St. Paul in October. The long-necked creatures are part of the zoo's renovation program. It is hoped the two-year-old animals will start mating in five years, so Como will have a whole family of giraffe. If you are wondering how they will survive the Minnesota winter, we are told a new tall building is under construction. The Anoka County Sheriff's Department has called a news conference a few minutes ago to release details of what they are calling an early morning kidnapping. A six-year-old girl was apparently taken from her home, and though police now say they have a suspect in custody, they cannot find the girl. Terry Sater is attending that news conference for us, and we will have a detailed report coming up on the 6 p.m. report. And Dave Moore, of course, will be supervising that news mm -hmm. program, and he is standing by now to tell us what else. Well, I wanted to add a, a line to the, the, the giraffes are due, as I understand it, in October. They will not be put on display until November. And then the following, uh, in January, they'll be eligible for the Timberwolves draft. <laughs> <laughs> we were heard. Continuing the animal theme uh, at 6 o'clock tonight, 160 wild horses and wild burros 
I went up for adoption in St. Cloud today. Reporter Darrell Savage is covering that story. He'll tell us why the government wants people to take these animals in. Alan Cox will be talking with some Northwest Airline pilots who are coming to the defense of the man who skipped the ill-fated Flight 255. Daniel, 120 watts per channel stereo system.